You can, yeah. yeah that's... So you can replace your hymen. So, yeah, because, you know, there, there are a lot of women. You know, we was talking to the Yanni Fair. Oh, yeah. Um, you have women that are going to get it tighter. So what is that? I mean, explain that. As far as getting it tighter and yeah, like so. I mean, like, what is? How, do you know about that surgery? Well, one of the things we were talking about actually, like, you know, and I think it's become a fad is like this G shot. Have you heard of that? Yes, what? I have. The G shot. G shot. Yeah. yeah, it makes women more horny. It's more sen- it sensitizes them. Go ahead. I'm gonna let the doctor see it. Well, I mean, it it, it also <laughs> like it gets to the the, the G spot, like, which is typically like it's actually like anterior in terms of like the vagina, like the vaginal canal. But it's it's a specific area that like you can yeah you can like stimulate that uh, you know they they introduce kind of like a, I don't know the exact procedure but like the whole purpose is to kind of relax that muscle and kind of create that same sort of effect like euphoric effect like having an orgasm that sort of thing. Does it make them squirt? For some people, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and it's squirting pee. Because that's the question everybody wants to know: squirting pee. Squirting pee. Is it? Is no, it? Is squirt, it? It's squirting just pee. Is it pee or is it ejaculation? No. no, I mean there's ejaculate with that too. So it's pee and ejaculation. I mean, it depends on the person, right? Like some people like, because everyone's different in terms of like the amount of emissions, right, that you can generate. Okay. So it's it's quite variable. I got some friends that want to know. Mm-hmm. Get some friends want to know. Okay. I got some friends want to know. So, is there? I think it's uh, not not. Uh, does it help with your prostate when you have a lot of sex? Is that true? So it does, like, there are other kind of benefits, actually. Believe it or not, in terms of prostate cancer, those sort of things, mm-hmm. sometimes, uh, like, sex can actually reduce your chance of getting those sort of things. Like, you know, you can have different sort of pathology related to your prostate. The most common thing is something called BPH, which, which is benign prostatic hyperplasia, where you have, like, an enlarged what, prostate. What, what is it called? It's called benign prostatic hyperplasia. Most, I mean, honestly. Benign prostatic hyper- Ladies. Yeah. When y'all be holding out, you're killing your mans. You're killing, killing your mans. You're killing your mans. Don't hold out. <laughs> Don't hold out. This is not good. It's not good. Killing your man. Don't killing do your mans. Yeah. So go ahead. The doc, we got the doctor. We got the doctor. It's a real doctor. Don't be holding real out. Doc. Practicing doctor. <laughs> That's you see me in the club and want to give me some, give it to me right then. Don't make me wait. Yeah. It's killing me. I mean, it's good that we have three guys, right, that are talking about. It's killing about. me. <laughs> killing me. There's no bias whatsoever in this conversation. Oh god, <laughs> but it's funny. So you said it's killing me. Oh, no, no. The doctor <laughs> just said it's killing me. Just have more sex. Hold on. Yeah, have more sex. <laughs> yeah. Good. yeah. I don't know because like, I used I had a time frame like literally I I think for a year, a full probably 18 months I'd never missed a day of sex and you probably tough. for 18 months I probably had. Three women a day. You tough. And probably no, no bullshit. Like you tough. No, serious, no, like seriously. For all your ladies hey, new. Hey, all you hey, gotta do is tap hey, in. Hey, this for all hey, my bosses. They hey. got it in off the back end. Lights, camera, turn them lights off. I'm about action. For all your sports and news and entertainment, this relentless. Bitch on game. game.